Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. So today is another Travel Tip Thursday and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about first aid because it's inevitable and it usually happens to me that I get injured, I get sick, or both. And we have found nine times out of ten that it is more expensive and or hard to find or they will not give you the items that you need, especially post-pandemic. So I'm going to share with you what we have in a first aid kit that doesn't cost a lot of money to put together that we take on every trip. So let's get started. If you've been around a while, you will recognize this purple box. It's what we took on our trip to Florida in December, January, and it came in handy so much. However, we have added to it, we have taken away, and so I wanted to go over what we put in our bag, again, just in case you're new or you need a refresher on your first aid kit. So in our first aid kit, it looks like this. And there's a couple other things that I'm gonna show you that's new that we're putting in it. So in here, we have Advil multi-symptom cold and flu, and we get these in little packets. There's like two packets in it, and they're a dollar at Dollar General. They are still a dollar at Dollar General. So before you go and start putting your first aid kit together, check like your local Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart, because sometimes Walmart has equate small uh, amounts for 88 cents. Check them out before you head to Dollar Tree. So we have several of those. Then I have an Advil allergy and congestion relief. Again, this is, I have one of these because I, this is left over from our trip. I have a small package of Advil. Again, this is left, some of this is left over from our December trip. We, in here, we have a container of muscle rub because you just never know when like you're going to need this on a trip of any kind. So tucked in here, we have Benadryl, we have um, I'd be some like Sudafed type stuff and down here we have Pepto-Bismol because you eat a lot and especially if your dietary changes between when you're at home, maybe you don't eat out a lot and you're going from home cooked to eating things like churros and Mickey waffles and Mickey pretzels. You might get a little bit of indigestion. Pepto-Bismol is great to have on hand. These come in little packs. Like again, Dollar Tree, Dollar General. And these are easy to slip in your park bag because you might be going, ugh. Grab a Pepto-Bismol and you'll feel a little bit better. We also have some band-aids that I've kind of tucked in and around. So as far as like other things we have in here, we have ibuprofen. We have daytime, non-drowsy, multi-cold symptom, pain relief, PM because it's a little bit stronger and then non drowsy sinus congestion and pain and so that all gets tucked in here so some of the other things that we have in here that I wanted to share with you some spare feminine products because you just never know when something might pop up that you need one um ladies we've had babies our bladders are not the same. Um, even for us mamas whose babies are with Jesus, our bladders are still not the same. We cough and pee at the same time. <laughs> I, I keep some in here because if I start getting really bad coughing fits with my asthma, there's just no controlling the bladder. It's a little, it's, it, it's, it's a helpful thing to have on hand. So a couple new things that we are adding to our first aid kit are these pat these um kind of aspartame not aspartame absorbenine i can't even pronounce things today pain relief patches the you can get these a multitude of different places for about the same price dollar tree has them for a dollar and a quarter our local dollar general still has them for a dollar these are great to have on hand especially if you have some localized pain and you don't want to like put this on and then put your clothes on these are great I've worn these in the theme parks before and they were just such a lifesaver so they it doesn't fit real great in here so it'll go in a ziploc bag and go like get sat when we get to the resort like with the first aid kit I just dropped something so this is called pain relief balm 
This is something that we found really recently at Dollar Tree and Sam picked it up because he had been having some ankle pain and Sam compares it to Tiger Balm and he, uh, he used it on his ankles. I used it on my knees and it was amazing. So we picked up an extra one and it is going into the first aid box. And then the other thing that we found at recently at Dollar Tree are little individual things whoop, of Tums. And even though we have the Pepto-Bismol, sometimes you just need a Tums. So these are going into our first aid box as well. Again, you can check Dollar Tree. You can talk, check Dollar General. You can check Walmart, Target for items. I couldn't think of the word I wanted. Like medication oh, items. Sam thinks they're flying monkeys um, that are a doll around a dollar fifty and under to make a really good first aid kit. Now, if you are wondering where I picked up our box, we actually picked this up at Dollar Tree um, last year around September October for the sole purpose of putting together a first aid kit that was small and would fit in the car, it fit in luggage and would be easy to travel with. So let me know in the comments below, do you take your own first aid kit with you? If you don't, will you plan to put together a first aid kit to take with you? Because let me tell you, paying a dollar, a dollar fifty, even two dollars for something is a lot cheaper than paying the prices for it at the resort um, gift shops or having to take an Uber to Walmart, especially if you don't drive. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.